Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thanks for joining me again today for another video. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I actually took out the rings on my Filofax croc. No, it's not gonna be this one because the rings are gone, as you can see. But I took the liberty of getting one that I can actually show you on camera what I did. I ordered another one in the ebony because this is what I initially wanted. I initially wanted the, the black, but they didn't have it when I ordered this one. So I chose that one instead of this one, but they had this one back in stock. This particular one is a personal size as well, but not a compact. And you can see the difference that this one is wider and this one is more narrow. Height wise, they're exactly the same height. Do it that way. They're exactly the same height. It's just that this one's a bit wider. <clears throat> so I chose to go with just the personal size this time because I wanted to be able to try to save the pen loop. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need is like a flathead screwdriver or something flat that can pry underneath the openings here to pop this off. And I don't know what I used the last time, but anyway, I'm gonna just bend this back a little bit so I can show you guys what I'm talking about. You see how you have these little bitty, let me bring it up to the camera. You see you have these little bitty openings right here. So what you're gonna do is you can get underneath these. Oh, yeah, I may not be able to do it this way. But they're little brackets. Okay, can't do it once <laughs> that close. Um, And then I can't remember if I had these open while I was doing it. I may have had them open. But you just get up under there and pop it out. These are not Krauss rings, by the way. Okay, see? Let's do it this way. Can you see that? Is that little opening right there? That's what you want to pull out. It's not hard or difficult at all. <laughs> it's just a matter of getting underneath it. Uh, and you don't want to pinch or damage. Here we go. The side slide back in. So that piece comes out, okay, and then for this part here, you just pull the rings and they come out. And then you have your two top pieces. Now this is the tricky part. 
This here is attached inside the pocket and it's attached to this side here. It's also glued down, which makes it a little bit difficult to get out. So if you have something like this or a longer screwdriver, which my husband has and I should have borrowed his, but I didn't, but we're gonna make it work to help get it out. So there are also these little, these little clips right here. And I think you can pry them up. I think that's how I did it before. I pried these up. Yeah, like so. You see that? Come on, focus. Good God. Here we go. You see how I pried that up? Oh, and the light is glaring. Hopefully you guys could see that. I don't even know how to do that. <laughs> But I pried this up. Okay, there we go. I pried it up where this one is still laying down. Let's see if I can do it from this angle without hurting myself. Okay, there it is. So just pry that open. This is much easier than the other one. Okay, so then once you pry that up, you're supposed to be able to pull these off. I guess that's what I did. I can't remember how I did it. Now, when this here is, I probably should have bought some gloves or something because these are very, very sharp. So I'm gonna go and get something to put on my hands. So I went and got me some gloves because this thing here is really sharp. Okay. Okay, so this is where we damage it right now because now I have to cut a little slit across here to get that out. And really? Lay down, puppy. So I'm prepared. I had an exacto knife. I did it before. So you're just gonna poke a hole. And you don't want to cut. You know, make sure you don't go into your leather. You're just cutting the the back here. And you can feel it's kind of glued. Okay. So it's kind of glued there. And you're just gonna cut across there. I, the last time I used my X-Acto knife, I honestly don't know what the heck I, where I put it. Okay, so, see how they have that covering in there? So you just want to put a hole in there, but you got to have a wide enough hole 
where you can get to that plate. Don't need anything too sharp and something that you can control. And <clears throat> you're just going to cut till you can get to it, until you can see it. So, there. You see that? The metal bar there? That's what you're trying to, oh my god, the lighting. <sighs> sorry, I'm so sorry. <sighs> the lighting on this is freaking crappy. Let me zoom in. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Really? Okay. That won't damn focus. Really? Okay. So that won't focus. Can you see that? This is what I'm trying to get you to see right here. Let me back out a little bit. These goddamn cameras are supposed to be so great. Really? I probably could film this on my phone better. Okay, so that's what you're looking for, that plate. Okay, so this is what we're trying to get to right here. And once we get to it, you can take your screwdriver, kind of go in between the back plate because it's glued in there and kind of wiggle that out and wallow it out like so so that you can get this off. <sighs> you gotta be careful that you don't damage anything down in there. Um, okay. I could have sworn <laughs> The last time I did this, it was not this hard. Let me get some. Okay. And this piece came right out. Now, you have a lot of, uh, A lot of pieces in here. Okay, there we go. So it is that. There we go. So you try and get this last well it flew off <laughs> and then what I can't hold you Roro okay and then that comes off so now I, and you see, this is why I say you have to be really, really careful. Because I did, I got a little scratch there. I don't want that. So, then I go back into here, behind there. And I have to now, oops, pry 
out this and you see the hole you're praying out the glue that's attached there to that hole so that you can pull that out if you have something flat I think flat would work better than this pointy tip I think I did use a flat head but like if you have something like a even a spatula something that's flat this is from my Cricut I don't think it's gonna be long enough to reach to the other end though but it's just glue in here so you're pretty much trying to work that glue out without ripping anything open or tearing anything up Whew. God be with me things you gotta do but as you, you hear it lifting okay we're almost there. almost there okay And bring you some, what do you call those things? The, I can't even think of the name of them. But see what you're trying to do is get this piece from on top of that piece to it. This is why you need a longer thing because your hole is only so big. So you're going to get down there. There we go. Oh, you see that? I popped it out. And now I'm going to attempt to pull it out. There is that piece. All right, so now, just like this one here, the holes were much smaller, so uh, they're not as noticeable. These holes, I only got one little damaged spot right there. Bummer. But these are holes here. And they're not going to be seen. But there you go. And now you have your D rings, croc, book. And you take this here, pop it in here. And again, because you have the rounded corners here. Um, does that, but we're not going to put it this far in because you're going to have it coming out like that. So, that out a little bit. Put it in about right there. Now, these um, tabs are way too big, but this is the issue I had with having side tabs. But the book can sit out pretty far. Okay, there. So, I can have it like this. I'm not gonna have it like this though. I'm gonna set it up. And uh, once I get it set up and ready and used and all that good stuff, I'll come back and do a flip through. But that is how you D-ring a Filofax croc. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.